This mega simple takeaway move is changing golf swings all around the world for the better and helping you guys get good at golf. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. If you want to do this app, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Today we're going to talk about irons and we're going to talk about how to strike your irons better and hit them longer and potentially straighter all by changing a little move in your takeaway that we can all do and all practice moving into the new season. So when I see a takeaway, I see so many different variants, I see so many different problems with a takeaway. Now, the golf swing isn't the same for everybody and that's something that's really important and we have to note that down. But the takeaway can be, the takeaway can be a nice consistent move, it can be a move that we can all do very, very similar to get into a position where we can then attack the ball on the way down. So one of the first things I see in a takeaway which can prove to be a problem is if the club moves inside here. So the hands roll over, the club face is wide open there and unfortunately that's in a very difficult position to get into a good position at the top as you can see there. I also see a takeaway where you take the club away from the body this way and then you are very very disconnected in what you're trying to do. So in an ideal world we want to be nice and connected in the takeaway with our arms and our upper body. So I want the takeaway to move this way. See how my chest and my arms are rotating at the same pace, they're rotating nicely and actually what the club's doing here is it's rotating around my axis, my axis being my sternum here. So as soon as that club gets to parallel to the ground, you'll see that the club face is nice and square to my spine angle. So the toe isn't pointing to the sky, it isn't pointing straight in front of you, it's square to my spine angle. What's happened with the lower body though, because this is what I really want to talk about, and this is where I spoke earlier on that you can get more distance, you can potentially hit the ball a lot straighter, but it all comes down to a separation of upper and lower body. So if we're nice and stable in the lower body, one of the things you'll start to see is as soon as I move the club away here, I start tensing in my abdominals here. Abs, Chris, if that's uh, something cool. we want to say. But from here now, I can then move my lower body. You see the right leg straightens, the club's in a nice high position at the top. I'm still thinking about my wrist angles from the hack motion, but all that allows me to do is get in much better positions and strike the ball. That's the first, first shot of the day they've done today, right in a warm up. And just thinking about that's helped me hit the green from 170 yards out with a six iron. The key here is consistency. The key is consistent practice and making sure you can do this time after time after time. I worked on this myself not long ago and I found this drill really helped me. So stand a little bit narrower than you would normally would, get the hands in a nice position just in front of the golf ball here and just start taking the club away so that your lower body remains nice and stable here. As soon as you get the club parallel, that's when you can start loading it up a little bit more. But all I'm going to do is hit some half shots. I'm going to think about trying to think about where my weight is. And you can see just hit some nice low penetrating shots. I'm getting ball then turf contact. The ball's going straight where I want it to go. And as, as soon as I can do this, I can do it with different clubs, different lofts, different speeds. And it's really going to help get more consistent and potentially lower those scores moving into 2024. How good is that? Are we having a match later? We are. Oh, beautiful. 